Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here. April's with me today, and we're looking at her feet in knee stretch. So my, for her feet, I wanted a place where she was dorsiflexed and she was demi-pointing so that we created this kind of locked position in her ankle where the talus was kind of um, sinking back um, and organize her foot from this position. Now, when we worked on this yesterday, okay, this looks a lot better, but go back to your habitual. <laughs> there you go. So when she got on here yesterday and you know, she just hopped up to do knee stretch. This is what we were seeing, where the heel is kind of out to the left side of the shoulder block, and she's putting a lot of weight into the outside of her foot, and she's not rolling into that ball of her big toe. So what I'm gonna do here, which is kind of similar to what I did on the um, foot bar, is I'm taking my hand in her inner arch, Right? And I'm rolling her so that her that so she's more into the ball of her big toe and her inner arch is aligned. And then I'm also holding her heel in place. And then I'm asking her to continue to have weight in the left knee. And then she's gonna push back just a bit and then return home, sit back towards the heel. And I'm continuing to spiral her metatarsals towards her inner arch. My thumb's on the bottom, my fingers are on the top, and my, my hand here at her heel is really monitoring what she's doing down below, right? And that could change a little bit as she comes in. She, when she comes in and she relaxes, she might wanna go back to that kind of heel sway out, but I'm not gonna allow her to do that. I really want her brain to notice this position. Good, and April, try to hold that, and then do one more going out, and resisting in, good. Now, what I had to do on this right side is, so move your right knee a little bit more to center, April, good. And I want her to stand into that right knee, so don't shift to the left. And for this one, I did the same spiral, but I had to also work a little bit with the tibia. So I'm kind of picking up her peroneals and kind of spiraling her tibia to the outside. Now widen your right sits bone a bit. Good, and stand more into this right knee, and then press yourself out, and resist in, good. Now hold on, move your foot a little bit over to the right, good. And do a couple more. So this spiral of the outside of her calf up, and her tibia more into this kind of um, external rotation is kind of helping to counter what I'm doing with her foot below, what I'm doing with her metatarsals. Whew, and I'm working hard. <laughs> Good. And resist. And you can see, because of the red coloring here on her <laughs> Achilles tendon, how much we're kind of pulling this tissue apart and getting her feet to really work. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.